Hey co friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, as you can see, I have a special guest, Chloe, aka Hello. Frizz and Frills. So I'm actually in Wisconsin and she's been showing me the ropes, but today we're going to go shopping at a very high-end bougie boutique store called Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna show you the best curly hair products that we love to use that are also affordable at Walmart. Yes, we are. Let's do it. Your hair type versus mine. Mine is super fine. I like gels, I like mousse. What's your go-to? Mostly gels. I need something hard to hold because I have very porous hair yes. and it's very thick. Hair thick. <laughs> very thick, right? Which is surprising because I wouldn't have thought that you had fine hair by just by looking at it. Now that you see it. But now that I've seen it and I've felt it, I'm like, ah, yes. yes. But you have density. Barely. <laughs> I just really I fluff it up. I just really Okay, we've made it to the hair care section. Wait, wait, one more time for the tippy toes, trying to reach the top. Tippy toes. <laughs> We're always on the tippy toes. <laughs> what did you find? Okay, Camille Rose, Rosemary Oil 5 Minute Strengthening Hair Mask. Mm. That sounds phenomenal. I like their new Let's packaging. Take a look. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It kind of reminds me of a watermelon. <laughs> um, okay, looking at ingredients first. Okay. Things we do in store. <laughs> Shea butter, love. Mango seed butter, love. Rosemary oil, love. Coconut oil, middle of the, okay, it's probably good. It's a repair mask or moisture mask? What's it supposed to do? It's a strengthening, strengthening. hair mask. Strengthening, nice. Which is interesting because I don't see a lot of protein in here. Hmm, why well, you read the labels. This is why I always read the labels. <laughs> First of all, the jumbo sizes. I did not know they sell jumbo sizes, especially in this line at Walmart. So that's pretty cool, 24 ounces for $17.97. Um, these are the always the OG go-to's. Go this is how I literally started my channel with these products. <laughs> these ones right here. Um, but these are great. This is probably one of my favorite apple cider vinegar shampoos because you get the apple cider vinegar without that horrible smell. So this is a good one. Pearl and Shine hair mask. Their mousse is good. And the smoothies is always gonna be a favorite of mine. This is literally my very first YouTube video was this product. It wasn't as much though. I was saying that looks like a, that's a this big a one. I used to use that too. 20 ounces, seventeen ninety seven. That was a go-to a long time ago for me. I haven't defined the, tried their defining styling gel though. As a gel girl, I feel like I might love this. this I need to try this next one. Well, I love Shea Moisture. This I was really hoping because I love flaxseed. I was really hoping this was going to be good, but because it has coconut oil in the first line or two, normally with a high porosity curl, it's going to frizz out by quite a bit. So, <laughs> unfortunately, that's a no for me. I just have to let you guys know I feel like there was some new formulation with the souffle. This is supposed to be like liquid, and as you can see, the last two times I've bought it, it doesn't it's move. Very like, gelatinous. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening with the souffle, but everything else is great. Um, I've also never seen this. Why look at the packaging? That's so cute. I am such a sucker for cute packaging. Moose, let's see if the ingredients check out. Please check out because you're really cute. Like Fontanera 55. I don't know if I've tried that before. Demethico. Dang it. Why? Why? I know Chloe's not as strict as the ingredients as I am. But I feel like her hair can handle it because mine's so fine it just gets weighed down. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe these check out. I might be able to do. Wait, this conditioner is good. I don't see any silicone or sulfates in the conditioner. I need to try these. How much are these? These are actually a little pricier, fourteen ninety seven. Mm -hmm. But the packaging is really cute. Love it. What do you see? Do you see some new ones? Do you see some favorites? Let's see here. Let me see if I can find a few of my favorites. Okay, this is a phenomenal line. I love Maui Moisture. Their Curl Quench line is fantastic. Uh, this is really good for majority of hair types, whether you have fine hair, thick hair, what have you. This one is also really nice, but I feel like this is more if you have a thicker type texture. These for thicker hair? Yep, thicker hair. If you're somewhere in the middle, you're probably gonna be okay. This is a good regular use one. Mm -hmm. And then if you have finer hair, this is gonna be your friend. Yes, they actually usually have a like a green one that's literally made for fine yes, hair. I don't yes. see it here though. Is it the flax? No, is it the flax one? It might be. It might be flax with the green. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that. I wonder if it's in stores. Green. I haven't uh, seen it in a while. Bummer. I know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Other than okay, some things I like from Heritage. Some things I don't. It depends on what it is. 
I do recommend their Gentle Daily Shampoo. If you're looking for something that's really affordable, it's $8.94. This is a good one too, SOS Deep Moisture Restore Conditioner. Uh, this is all done by Mindy McKnight and she's done everything to be very specific with all the freeze. Like they're SLS free, they're, I mean. Is it silicone free? I <laughs> not all the freeze. Not all the freeze. <laughs> Let me see if this one. Looking, looking. Mm, I see a dimethicone. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I personally am okay with dimethicone. I know Bianca does not like dimethicone. So we can we can agree to disagree yes, yes. for our own curls. <laughs> so just know that all my recommendations are probably gonna be sulfate silicone free. Yes. And then Chloe's may not be if you don't have a problem with them. If they mm -hmm. work for you, go for it. I love this from Aunt Jackie's Curl Lala Defining Curl Custard. This is it's pretty thick, but it's not too weighed. It's not too heavy. It's just a really nice one, and it's also extremely affordable. Under and you get a really big bottle of that, right? Yeah. Okay, shea butter is in the first line, which I like to see. Soybean oil, which tells me that's probably a, more of a filler ingredient, <laughs> and then olive oil. So most of the oils are at the top, which means that's going to be still very, very hydrating, yes. very moisturizing. So Lots if you are new to reading ingredients, everything on the first line is what the majority is. So the higher yes. the ingredient is up on the list is the majority of it in there. If they say it's like a, an aloe vera, some type of something, and aloe vera is like the last ingredient on the whole chunk, it's not really in there. Lies! <laughs> Barely! <laughs> Barely! This is why we read the ingredients. Like one of the things I can't stand is when companies will put it right on the label, they're like, olive oil and then in reality it's all soybean oil and then just the teeny two bit. drops yeah and it's like well that's completely false advertising this yeah. is why we read ingredients that's why let's keep going um, i do see tia's line in here her for you line clarifying shampoo lightweight conditioner moisturizer shampoo moisturizer conditioner these are all great like they work well um i wasn't blown away by the refresher i don't see myself really like grabbing for this the oil was cool and the leave-in curl cream was cool but i needed to put like a gel on top so love this line the manuka honey and yogurt line from shea moisture this is fantastic it's strengthening it's moisturizing it's kind of all of the things and i personally love this in the mask but i don't see it here mm. so i just picked this one up and this is their deep moisturizing mask that one's really thick I, it looks really thick which you is probably like, like it, yeah <laughs> I, I think, love me a thick mask. I think it's too thick for my hair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but maybe so, I'm thinking of this one. Like, okay, immediately, looking at the ingredients, we got water, sterile alcohol, and then immediately we have castor oil, castor oil, one of my favorite oils. And then we've got glycerin, okay, shea butter, amazing olive oil. I'm really liking the ingredients in here. I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> see. Oh, I've been using this one recently. So I feel like, wait, wash and go, is this different? Oh, I'm thinking of this one. I have the texture foam. It didn't have enough hold for me. I haven't tried this leave-in. Um, have I tried the gel? I, hmm, I'm really not sure now. I wanna say I have, but I've been using this lately. This gives me really great shine and hold. So I like that one, 12.98. We have some more Carol's Daughter. This looks like some new, oh, it's a mermaid collab. I see what they did there. Limited edition Little Mermaid water to foam shampoo. Cute. If you're a Disney fan, you can go that one. Maybe make your kids excited to actually do their hair. Jelly to cream conditioner? Ooh, I need do you need me to reach it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not your mother's. Yeah, not your mother's. But I was looking to see if they had the hard to hold gel. They don't have it. Oh. And they also don't have, they must not have a lot of their new launches because I also have on my hair today, I have their new scalp refresh spray. I really oh, like uh -huh. that. I've been meaning to try that. Uh, for refreshes. Mm -hmm. um, I also really like their hard hold gel, the number five hold. Yeah. Three hold. That one's not enough hold for me. Yeah. And um, it uses polyquadrinium 69. It's my favorite polyquads. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to polyquad. Shout out to polyquads. Uh, Have then, you tried the foam yet? I've only, I usually love their mousse, but their foam, I, I thought it might be too no, light. No, I haven't tried this one yet because I normally, most foams just don't have enough hold for yeah, me. Yeah, same. Uh, but that, that's not to say that all foams don't have enough hold because I found some that I actually really like for a medium 
to harder hold. Or you can use it for moisture sometimes and then add a gel on top. Mm -hmm. That's true too. Uh, that actually reminds me of like the new Rizos Curls mousse. That's a little Target. But their mousse is more for hydration, not really for like hold. So you still have to put something else on top. Ah, I see you found hers collection with L'Oreal. I did, <laughs> and I actually really like this collection. It's super affordable. It is not, this is one of my favorites, Leave it. their leave-in cream. It's a very nice in-between. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. Um, it does use ammo dimethicone, however, so for Bianca's faithful, um, just know that. <laughs> <laughs> just know that. Uh, however, ammo dimethicone, if you are open to silicones, it is a water soluble one, so it's going to come out of your hair and it doesn't build up on build up on each other. It actually can't because the molecules aren't won't allow it. Ooh, man, this see, I'm such a sucker for packaging. This is also a Little Mermaid collab, looks like. Oh no, this is just a free ticket. Hmm. Huh. Born to repair. I have not tried any of these. No. Oh, thank you for making this easy. Thank you for making this easy. I need to try this next. They have a huge Aussie section. I usually don't use them because of silicone, but I noticed that they have this instant freeze sculpting gel level four and it's sulfate and silicone free. And they have an instant free sculpting mousse level four maximum hold 24 hour defined style. Also silicone free, very tempted to try this. Let me know if you guys have tried these before. Only 4.97 love to see it if you want to talk real affordable they have all the eco gels what is this brown one coconut oil i don't think i've seen that one flaxseed is always a popular one i feel like these right here are people's main go-to's mark anthony i can't use because they also have silicone what's this new curl enhancing styling foam oh, it looks cool but polyquantanerum okay <gasps> can I use this one? <gasps> Maybe I can try this one. Okay, breaking news. I actually might be able to use this because I don't see any sulfate or silicone. Extra hold transforms frizzy hair to full shiny to fine curls, vitamin E, silk protein. <gasps> okay, I gotta buy this when I get home because I'm not trying to put in my luggage. Um, I think these still have silicone. Look, they have bonding. Everybody's getting on the bonding train lately. This does have silicone, but I will be back for you. Looks like Shea Moisture also has a scalp line. A lot of you asked me about scalp care. This is the Scalp Moisture Shampoo with aloe butter. They have a shampoo and conditioner for $12.97. So that could be something good to try. I haven't tried it yet. So I found some cute, good options, but there still are some things that are pretty affordable, like $12 or less. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. Yes, please. And then Chloe's also gonna make some like her top favorites um, shorts. So I'll be linking those after this video as well. How can I follow you on Instagram? At Friz and Frills, everywhere, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. We also are dropping some new scrunchies very soon. This is my collab with Curlfriend Collective. Yes. So if you wanna be the first to get that, make sure you go to the curlfriendcollective.com website, join the mailing list, and it's mm -hmm. available on 10 12 so very soon i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bianca renee today, today. <laughs> <laughs>